Yep. That's me. You're done, really? Getting a tattoo. Hi there, guys. My name is Danielle. You kick You didn't even show the whole video. Excuse you. Could you at least wait till I'm done with the intro? Fine, whatever. Thank you. You can call me Danny, and welcome to my channel. Today is a little different today. Okay, you literally say that every video. Okay, I didn't ask for your opinion, peanut gallery. So basically, today is sort of like a vlog. Um, it's a little different because when I originally made my first vlog video, I hated it. <laughs> so here's me just giving you the rundown. It's a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. I'm getting ready. I'm getting my face painted, ready for the day. And it's raining. I jump in my car. So today's the day. I am getting my very first tattoo. And of course, I'm bringing my best friend along because see, because I'm a baby and I don't want to do it alone. Exactly. <laughs> the crazy thing is back in high school, people got us mixed up all the time. I don't understand how they did that because we don't even look alike. Do you guys think we look alike? Because I don't really think so, but you know, you never know, I don't know. And actually lots of teachers got us mixed up too. They call me Melody and I'm like, we had a few classes together so they would always mix us up there too. Here's a funny story. So one time we were walking down the hall to band, clarinet section, and both of us were in clarinets. I was a third chair, just saying. So we were walking down the hall to band and her teacher, I think it was her art teacher, just like burst out yelling and she's like, Melody, I didn't know you had a twin. And we were both just like, and then Melody was like, I don't. <laughs> I go pick her up, we go get some food. I didn't record any of that because I didn't think about it. I'm already a terrible vlogger, as you can tell. Oh, if you're wondering, I'm in my vanity room slash closet slash whatever you want to call this thing. That's my lovely shirt attire. As you can see, I'm like very, not, I don't want to say like very organized, but I like things color coordinated. That's just how I am. I'm just weird like that. Yeah. <laughs> they literally don't care. Just get back to the story already. Okay, peanut gallery. I did not ask for your opinion. Back to the story. So I pick her up. We're going to eat. Yum, yum, yum. Food. We went to Chinese. It was delicious. I love Chinese. It's like one of my favorite things in the world. And then we're at the tattoo place. Yay! My tattoo artist, William, he is really awesome. He was really funny. He made me feel really comfortable. Him and the other chick, I feel really bad for not knowing her name, but she didn't say her name. Um, I feel bad. <laughs> but she was also very nice. They were all very nice. And he was funny. He wanted to be in the video, obviously. So <laughs> insert that clip. <laughs> I was really nervous. I was kind of talking very lightly because I was just like, okay, Danny, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Gave my camera to Melody, and yeah, we just got started. You're done? Really? That's it? Yeah, no, that's what that feels like. I know. Bikers don't seem that tough anymore, do they? <laughs> you know, it's like you gotta be like I a can hard be a ass biker. Exactly. <laughs> I was such a trooper. You almost started crying. Again, no one asked for your opinion. You're not even wearing makeup. You don't need makeup to do a vlog. Honestly, she can be so rude sometimes. So the tattoo is done. We're done, finally. It doesn't hurt. You know, I actually got this question a lot. Did it hurt or you know, did it feel weird? It felt weird, yeah. Um, I'm like deathly afraid of needles. So <laughs> when it was happening, it didn't even feel like a needle or anything. It just felt like he was kind of drawing, like, 
but like a little harder. It wasn't even that bad. I mean, I could definitely be a biker. After that, we head back in my car and we go to the mall. Yay! I take Melody to her first time in Sephora. She, cause she doesn't do makeup whatsoever. She, I don't even think she wears foundation. That's just crazy. I know, right? I just feel so honored to give my best friends this first time experience of the luxuriousness of makeup. And then of course she had no idea what anything was. <laughs> Here's her finding a mirror and she had no idea what it was doing and why it was tilted downwards, which I thought it was funny. But I also was a little curious too because it was like really downwards and I'm not even that short. Okay, high five five. That's like pretty average, right? Right? And then we go to Marshalls because I freaking love Marshalls. I love to see what I can find in makeup because sometimes they have some really bomb stuff. Like this time I found a Anastasia the lip kit thingy. Then I also found highlight. I picked up two of the Anastasia lip kit, one for myself and then one that I'm going to put into a giveaway hopefully really soon guys. I'm really excited. I just hit 1,500 followers on Instagram. I am so amazingly excited. I can't believe this because just like a few months ago I was still at like 400 and oh my god sorry guys I just had to I just had to like say that real quick. Literally no one is taking you seriously right now because you look like you just woke up. I did not just wake up. I just got out of my bed. We finished with Marshalls. I got some stuff there. I was excited. We're ready to go. And then I take my best friend to my favorite store in the world. Which is Ulta. It was amazing. I freaking love Ulta. Sorry for my lighting. My lighting in here is a little different. I'm not using any special lighting. I'm just using the lovely lighting from my window. Cause I don't feel like wasting energy. So we go to Ulta and I show her one of my favorite sections of Ulta, which is MAC Cosmetics, obviously. And then she notices Patrick and I have never, ever, been so proud of my best friend before because she knew who Patrick Star was and I felt so happy. She knew who he was. Oh my gosh. I felt bad after that because she was like, oh, he's on that Snapchat story thing. Snapchat story? Yeah, and then we were also getting weird looks from the workers. And then I tried to be funny and went to the elf section and I was like, elf, spot to me because elf is like my favorite non-high-end brand. I hate saying drugstore. I know you guys probably already know this. I just, I hate calling them drugstores because, I mean, not all of them you just find at drugstores, you know? Like, obviously, you find them at Alto. Alto is not a drugstore. Also, they have, like, their own stores. Like, Elf has their own stores. I, like, one of my dreams is to go to an Elf store, like, in New York or something, wherever they're found, and just buy the whole store, honestly. <laughs> what else would I do? I just really want to go to them because I felt like, I feel like I would be at home because you know a girl loves a good deal and elf has amazing deals for amazing products not sponsored but would love to be sponsored thanks elf <laughs> after we do our lovely ulta adventure we get in my car and we're going off back home gonna drop her off at home and then my car breaks down can you believe it isn't this like the third time yes it's like the third time in my life okay we don't need your input my car breaks down and I'm freaking, I'm terrified, okay? Melody can vouch for me. She's not here right now, but she could vouch for me. We were going down this like hill thing and I'm trying to brake. The brake is not working. I'm freaking terrified right now. But Melody's talking to me, you know, we're just having a, this conversation. And I'm just like, Melody, not to alarm you, but my brakes aren't working. I was freaking terrified. I, I get them to start working a bit. You know, I'm just like pressing on them super hard. I'm just like, ah, I don't want to die. <laughs> So then I turn off into this like little abandoned, it's not abandoned, but it's like this little corner thing that they have for a building that's there. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm just glad it's there. I turn off into there, shut my car off, leave it off for a while, hoping that, you know, my car just needs like a little jump start or something. We're there for like, what, maybe like 10 minutes or so. I turn my car on, it starts working again. I'm just like, okay, hopefully it'll take me home. So we keep going, you know, another two miles or so, and then it starts not breaking again, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? So then I'm barely able to make it into a random driveway without the car completely dying on me. We're stuck. Hi there guys, little update. Um, 
we are actually on our way home. And honestly, I feel like I have such bad luck with cars right now. I'm about to cry. My car just died. It's dead. It won't turn on. And I just, my my ex, my friend's boyfriend, who's right there, over there for about 30 minutes. Melody's boyfriend is on his way, coming to jumpstart us. Hopefully it will work. So hopefully it will work, you know, hopefully he'll jumpstart us. Hopefully everything will be okay. I'll be able to take my car home and stay home. But then, it doesn't work, so I have to resort to the last thing. I have to call my dad. Come, and now they're both hooked up to my car, and now they're both trying to jumpstart at the same time. Me and Melody are freaking scared, so we get out of the car, and we're in the back. It didn't work whatsoever. So, Melody's boyfriend ends up taking me home. We go to Wendy's, and if you don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of Wendy's. We're getting Wendy's, because now I'm depressed. And Wendy's seemed like a depressing food. Oh, we're at Wendy's. They treat me to some food because they feel bad for me. It's like a win-lose situation here. Even though I was the one that suggested Wendy's. I think, yeah, I think I was the one that suggested Wendy's. These lovely people took me on a date. <laughs> <laughs> and drowned my sorrows in Baconator fries. And they taste disgusting. <laughs> you are nasty. Just saying. No one asked for your opinion. What are you even doing here? I am making this video interesting. I'm making this interesting. You're not doing anything. I mean, I'm the one who, okay, we're done with her. We're done. After that, they take me home. I don't even film an outro because I'm so depressed and I just take off my makeup and I take a long, hot shower. It was a very interesting day. I got a tattoo. I went to the mall with my best friend, which is rare because she's always busy. And then three, my car broke down again. And then now we're here. Wait, I'm gonna do a shout out. Fine, you can do the shout out. This one's for you, Ethan. Thank you so much for watching and being an amazing subscriber. You leave amazing comments and your support really helps me a lot. I love you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much again. This one's for you. Yes, thank you so much. I've been here since a while. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your comments. You are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> also, I wanna give a huge thank you to Velvet Lotus Tattoo. They treated me so well. They were so nice to me. I love them so much. And I'm definitely going to go back to them for my next tattoo. Mm. Although I don't think I'll be getting it anytime soon because, yeah. Thank you so much. If you guys are in the Iowa City area, definitely check them out. I will leave all their stuff down below. And, yeah, definitely check them out because they're freaking amazing. Alrighty, you guys. That's all I have for you today. Thank you. Wait, I want to do the outro. I want to do it. Fine. You can do the outro. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my weird version of a vlog. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I always post every Friday now, so that's something to look forward to. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Ethan, this one was for you. And all you other ones, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. And don't you think I, you go unnoticed because I love you so much. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much. I love you so much. And I'll see you next Friday. Come on. Flip here. Okay. It was, oh, okay. Nope.